breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Things are not looking very, very nicely lined up for the governor of Edo State who will prefer to see his candidate, Igodalo Wayne's. Now, in, for somebody becoming the governor of the state, is not just about you, your willpower, or what you want. It goes beyond that. For somebody to be the governor of a state, the party is also part of the whole thing. And this is what is happening right about now as we speak. Yes, Obaseki, support for Igo Dalu faces threat as our very own brother, Yeson Wiki, give further directives to PDP in Edo State. You know, you may be wondering and saying, ah, ah, um, Wiki is not in River State. Wiki um, is not in Edo State. Is Rivers and even Rivers is still managing Rivers and being, you know, FCT minister and all that and all that that is going on. But there is just a connectivity because they are all, you know, the same party. So this is exactly what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Obaseki's support for Igo Dalo faces threat as more and more begins to unfold and everybody is wondering what the next line of action is with Yeson Wiki giving further directive to PDP in Edo State. Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State's backing of Igo Dalo's governorship bid appears to be facing threat, forcing the governor to forcing the governor to initiate reconciliation move with the minister of the federal capital territory, Yesom Wiki. The level playing field, which Yesom Wiki gave in reply to a Baseki plea for support for Igo Dalu, does not seem very much accepted as Obaseki made another further arrangement to have to have a chat and discussion with Yesom Wiki. Yesom Wiki, however, have sent message to PDP in Edo State saying the support and the the support for any candidate should not be the question. It should be a plain level field for every single candidate of Edo State. Every single PDP candidate in Edo State should be able to sit down together and look at all that they have. First of all, the primaries must be fair and the people of the state, especially PDP, must be able to pick their choice. And no one should be supported against the other. It, it is not fair if one is supported against the other. Obaseki has not always proven to be the best reliable person. So we will not look into that and accept any of the words he has to say. However, Obaseki has made a further arrangement to speak with the FCT minister. His first meeting, he did not go alone. He went with another governor, but uh, what Wiki said, he would prefer that they have a plain level field and everybody participates. Obaseki, however, is not giving up, making arrangements to meet with the FCT minister so that his candidate can get all the support he possibly can. So this is what is happening right now. My people, the election in Edo State you know, um, yes, on Wiki, you may think is the FCT minister, but he still claims, he still opens his mouth to say that he's a PDP man. So he's PDP by day, APC by night. However, there is still PDP tied on in somewhere. And remember that he's actively involved in the government of the day, talking about the talking about him being the FCT minister. Sadly, he's not supporting the deputy with whom they've been, you know, working together since the beginning of his administration in 2015. They've been together, they've been working together, but right now, the deputy governor says he wants to be the governor of the state, and Obaseki does not think so. Obaseki says that um, other areas, you know, other local government areas and other constituencies should be given opportunity. You know, in his own thoughts and wisdom, he says, Philip Shaibu has enjoyed the position of a deputy governor, you know, which is next to the governor for eight years. That would be about time, you know, to change hands, to bring in somebody with a new perspective, new innovation, you know, new idea to move Edo forward. But in doing this, 
Obaseki, first of all, has had fallout with not just Gason Wike, but other PDP governors. This all started when, you know, Obaseki joined the People Democratic Party as a result of his fallout with, you know, Oshomole. And um, he, he promised the people of pe the People Democratic Party when he was coming in a lot of things. So they say, he said, promised them a lot of things and, um, you know, how they are going to share appointments and all that. Chief Dan Obi was heading that group. But Obaseki coming in felt like maybe he was being controlled and, you know, just just tell everybody of, listen, I'm the governor. And he told Chief Dan Obi, I am the, you know, I am the leader of PDP in a those states you don't have a say. You know, at some point, I think uh, uh, Wiki sent him some message. Wiki and Felix Raibo had a fallout and, you know, Obaseki su supported Felix Raibo and all that, you know, Wiki has been keeping carefully in his archives. Today, Obaseki wants his candidate to be supported. Wiki says, we can't trust you. Uh, you've always been like that. We trusted you once and then um, you, you dashed it up in our faces. So we're not going to, you know, put ourselves down and support you. So when he came with the Igo Dalos idea, you know, and um, of course, Felix Shaibo also wants to still be governor. He said um, he feels, if you look at the whole thing, you can see for yourself that, you know, these guys, you know, here and there, there is all this kind of things going on and everybody is just, you know. But again, my big advice to the people of Edo State is don't allow anybody, okay, be the detector or the director of what happens. Don't allow anybody take that from you. You guys need to own it. Like own it. You guys need to own it. Don't allow anyone come to prove one thing or another to you. You know, we've, we've seen it again and again. They come in, they come in and they tell us, oh, we're going to uh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We believe them. But guess what? When they come in, we see how they've been, you know, administrations have been going on and we don't want such to continue. So you all, we all have a duty to ensure that the people we are voting in is not because they've given us 2,000 Naira or 5,000 Naira or spaghetti. Because if they do that, they want their investment. They want a heavy return on their investment. And that will impact on the road, the quality of the road, the quality of life, education that will be in the state. So if there's anything that anybody should do now is focus on what really matters and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Every one of us have got a duty. Let's contribute meaningfully. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.